The uniform you see cadets wearing was first worn on Remembrance Day Parade 2009. Since then, we have participated in Independence and Remembrance Day Parade 2010. And this year, fielded one armed platoon and one unarmed platoon. From spectators' comments, our armed platoon performed magnificent, magnificently. Indeed, some say they were undoubtedly the best platoon on parade. A crowning achievement was the staging of our first annual training camp in July last year. 44 officers and cadets from Barbados, one officer and four cadets from Jamaica, and two warrant officers from the Trinidad and Tobago Cadet Force joined our cadets at the Happy Hill Secondary School for the first annual camp. Contingents from, of cadets from Grenada also attended training camps in Trinidad and Tobago and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This year, we plan to stage our second annual camp at the same venue. Contingents of Grenada cadets will also attend training camps in Trinidad, St. Vincent, and also participate in the International Cadet Challenge Competition in Barbados. There seems to be some doubt as to what cadeting is about. Let me attempt to clear that doubt. It is not about training young people to join the army. It is not about training young people to be members of the police force or the prison service. It is not about teaching young people to shoot and learn military skills to injure people. The Grenada Cadet Corps is a youth organization. It aims to develop qualities of leadership, character, responsibility, discipline, and the ideals of selfless service and patriot patriotism, among others. It is structured along military lines and involves community activities. We seek to instill in our young people integrity, respect for authority, and social responsibility, and thereby positively influence their thoughts and actions as teenagers, later as adults at home, at the workplace, and in their communities. The aim is to offer the youth of our nation, boys and girls alike, a program of personal and social development based on military training, thereby contributing to the qualities of good citizenship, leadership, physical fitness, and service to the community and to the nation. Above all, the training given is intended to prepare young people to take their rightful place in the society. This is our most important consideration. There are cadet corps or forces in almost every Caribbean state and in the wider international community. Barbados celebrated their 105th anniversary last year. Trinidad last year celebrated their 100th anniversary. Jamaica will in 2012 celebrate their 50th anniversary. The Grenada Cadet Corps is not alone. 
In all these countries, the Cadet Corps have produced outstanding citizens in, public, in the public and private sector. In Grenada, former cadets have been politicians, permanent secretaries, doctors, lawyers, managing directors, accountants, among other professions. Our current Speaker of the House, Mr. George Maguire, Dr. Terence Maishow, Mr. Adam Bezinski of Jonas Brown and Hubbard, Mr. Hugh Dolan of Today's Wonders, Mr. Lai Bolling of Vina Bolling and Sons, Mr. Ashley Bernadine, Attorney at Law, Ms. Junie Bedouin, our Supervisor of Elections, Ms. Julia Lawrence of Greener Cooperative Bank, have all been cadets. These are only some of the worthwhile citizens cadets have produced. It would be remiss of me if I did not publicly express sincere thanks and appreciation to the many private sector enterprises which have given cash and kind. Thanks also to the Permanent Secretary, Prime Minister's Office, for her support. With all the officers, warrant officers, under officers, adult sergeants who give up their time and expertise and very often dip their hands in their pockets to provide for the cadets and their units, we would not have had a cadet corps. I thank you all. I thank you, parents and guardians, for allowing your sons, your daughters, and your wards to have the cadet experience. You will not regret it. Special thanks to the Trinidad and Tobago Cadet Force, Jamaica Combined Cadet Force, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Cadet Force and the Barbados Cadet Corps for all the assistance given. In particular, I wish to single out Colonel Edison Isaac and Lieutenant Colonel Trevor McCurdy who are here with us. Will you gentlemen please stand and be recognized? They are at the far left. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your time this afternoon and hope you enjoy the rest of the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of the Grenada Cadet Force, Major Charles George.